Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News for Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. Stand up for your country. So eight days, uh, one of the most important debates in U.S. history to take place. You know that. Um, we are going to have the best coverage. But more importantly, you know, I'm bragging about best. We'll have very honest coverage because we are not coming at this from any kind of ideological viewpoint. Uh, I have been clear that I believe President Biden is a terrible chief executive, the second worst in our history. And I'll back that up in my upcoming book, Confronting the Presidents, and I backed it up here. But that doesn't mean that I'm incapable of covering an event, honestly, and with fairness. It's because we are purveyors of information here. All right, that's what we do. Uh, it separates us from almost every other television news organization in the world. We're not in this business to speak to the choir. We're in the business to tell you what is happening, why it's happening, and get you the best information. And we have, of course, um, very good sources. We are technicians here. All right, now I'm going to prove this um, right now, the difference between the No Spin News, BillOReilly.com, and all the rest OK, that is the subject of this evening's talk of points memo. It comes down to political fanaticism and fanaticism is divided into two categories. One, what they call true believers. These are the Mooney types, the cults where they just are staggeringly strident in what they believe. And the other start of fanaticism is money, where they can make money being fanatical in the political realm. Okay, so let us start, and, and one more caveat. Most Americans are not like this. The folks are not like this. There are some, and you know who they are in your life, but not most, okay? But on television and in the media, whoa, my earpiece just fell out here. Um, anyway. Let's begin um, yesterday on The View. Go. Joe Biden's record as a president yeah. is a very, very strong record. I mean, we are, are, we are the economic envy of the world. Right. Doesn't mean our economy is perfect, but literally we are the envy of the world. We've got a better situation mm -hmm. than anybody. We've got unemployment rates that we haven't seen in generations. Okay, so every poll shows that Joe Biden's job approval rating is now below 40%. So this woman comes on the air and says, very strong record. Well, what, are we all stupid? I mean, the unfavorability job, the direction of the country, 70% of Americans feel the country is going in the wrong direction. So how could a sitting president be doing a, quote, very, very strong job if 70% feel the country is going in the wrong direction? Impossible. And then she says, we have unemployment rates we haven't seen in generations. The current unemployment rate, May, 4%. Okay. In February 2020, under Trump, right before COVID, 3.5%. Now, Ms. Maddow doesn't care about what she says, if it's factual or not. She doesn't care. She makes an enormous amount of money, all right, pushing forth a far left point of view. And if she's got to distort that, do you think she looked that up? No. It's an easy stat, lady. Okay. We have the uh, unemployment rates we haven't seen in generations. Yeah, we saw it four years ago before COVID, lower. Okay, then we have on the right, not as significant as on the left, because remember the corporate media, NBC News in Ms. Maddow's case, has far more left-wingers than right-wingers. You just add it up. But there are fanatics on the right, go. But the Democrats were very tactical, folks. They're not stupid. They understand that it doesn't matter if these illegals vote or not. It, it does. I mean, it's terrible. Obviously, if they do, they broke the law. 
All right. All Democrats do not want illegal aliens to vote. Now, the far left does, but he didn't define it that way. He said the Democrats, you know, no, no. If you were to believe that, then every Democrat in the country is fostering lawbreaking because it's illegal to vote if you're not a U.S. citizen. Everyone. No. It's not true. Okay. So the social media hypes the fanaticism. If you are a deliberate person putting forth uh, facts and a point of view that is based on reality, you're not going to get a lot of uh, time on the political websites. If you throw the hand grenade and attack somebody personally, you're going to get headlines all day long. That's a big change in this country. So if you're seeking attention, seeking a choir to follow you, you throw those bombs. All right, because of social media, will pick them up because they want clicks. They want people to look in. Now, people who are fanatics live in a delusional world. So I was on a Hannity radio program today, and I kind of hijacked the show, as I am known to do, and I asked him a question. We were talking about the border, the open border, where President Biden is solely responsible. Congress didn't do it. Judges didn't do it. He did it. One man. Executive order, open that border to all the danger, okay? And we were talking about how many families in this country have lost loved ones because of the open border and that there were eight terrorists arrested last week tied to ISIS that came across the southern border. So I asked Hannity, I said, those are all facts. Why do you think a George Clooney, a Julia Roberts, the Hollywood crowd totally ignores that? and raises millions of dollars, gives millions of dollars to reelect Joe Biden. Why? I asked Sean Hannity that question. Now, I'm not going to give you Hannity's answer. You got to go to BillOReilly.com and listen to the show. We have a post it there. Because if I give you his answer, I might muddle it up. I want you to hear what his answer is. It's an interesting answer. But I think it's safe to say, and factual to say, that if you're a political fanatic, you live in a delusional world. You don't want to know the truth. You just want to hear what you believe. Enter again, and I'm sorry I'm picking on the woman. I never even met her, this Rachel Maddow, and I'm picking on her tonight, but I'm only doing it because these are the most recent sound bites. All right, roll it. That's something that the United States of America contributed to the world's response and has a lot to be proud of, and you have a lot to be proud of. I don't know if it's okay for me to ask you this, but if there had been a problem in developing a vaccine for COVID, if we hadn't been able to do that, do you have in mind a number about yeah. how many people would have died? I, I think globally it would be many more millions. OK, so uh, Mano says the United States has a lot to be proud of in developing the vaccine for COVID. Well, who developed it? I believe that would be President Trump with Operation Warp Speed. Now, if you saw my interview with Donald Trump in the history tour, he walked right through the, how he got that thing done with the farmer, the big companies. He negotiated those deals, Trump did, to get that vaccine so fast. Now, both Fauci and Maddow admit the vaccine saved millions of lives. But did you hear Donald Trump's name mentioned there? No. No, it's uh, the United States of America contributed to the world's response and has a lot to be proud of. The United States of America. OK, we the taxpayer paid for it. All right. But Trump did it. So Maddow totally ignores that. It's just incredible. And most of all, it's dishonest. And that's a memo. All right, President Biden didn't show up for work today at the White House, <laughs> okay? He didn't show up. He's in Rehoboth, Delaware. I don't know what he's doing, but I suspect he's trying to memorize answers for the debate eight days from today. Um, there is a new Joe Biden ad that attacks President Trump. Roll it. 
In the courtroom, we see Donald Trump for who he is. He's been convicted of 34 felonies, found liable for sexual assault, and he committed financial fraud. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's been working, lowering health care costs and making big corporations pay their fair share. This election is between a convicted criminal who's only out for himself and a president who's fighting for your family. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Well, Mr. President, with all due respect, you might be careful with that kind of stuff. Because there's a woman named Tara Reid who worked uh, in your proximity in D.C. from 1992-1993. Okay? She alleges that you, uh, let's just say that you uh, are guilty of inappropriate behavior toward her. Okay? Um, she has sued the Department of Justice, uh, saying that uh, they, uh, they allowed it to happen. She did not file a criminal complaint, but she did file a public incident police report on April 9, 2020, saying she's a victim of sexual assault. Now, the Republicans, Trump, could run a spot on her, and all they would have to do would be to pull a clip from 60 Minutes, who interviewed Miss Reed. Roll it. And when I pulled away, he pulled back. And he seemed, he looked at me like kind of almost annoyed. And he said, come on, man, I heard you liked me. And that's when he got, I could see that he was angry. And he put his finger kind of towards my face. And he said, you know, you're nothing to me. You're nothing. Well, if you want to get in the mud, and I think this is what's going to evolve, I do. I think this is going to be the dirtiest, muddiest campaign in history. There you go. Now, Ms. Reed, story is murky, to be fair. I think she's in Russia. She made an announcement that she's defecting to Russia. You don't have to defect. I don't know if she's given up her citizenship or not, but it's a murky situation. But that's 60 minutes. So if Trump and the Republicans want to put a spot together, they can you all know that due to cancel culture, Mike Lindell and MyPillow no longer have the support of their box stores or shopping channels. So they want to pass those savings directly to you. Thanks to their dedicated employees, MyPillow has hundreds of products, some you may not even know about. To spread the word, they are having a $25 extravaganza. For just $25 each, you can get two-pack multi-use MyPillows, six-pack towel sets, sandals, and more. For the first time, get premium My Pillows with all new Giza fabric, any size, any loft level, for just 25 bucks. This amazing offer will not last long. So please visit MyPillow.com or call 1-800-869-0298. Use promo code Bill for free shipping on any order over $75 today. That's MyPillow.com, code Bill. All right, let's go to the mail. We got Penny. I will be voting for President Trump, not just against Joe Biden. I would vote for Trump no matter what Democrat was running. Okay, I understand. But all, Penny, all of the polls show Every single one of them, that most Americans are voting against something, not for. And that was the gist of our report yesterday. Janet Etzcorn, Jackson, Wyoming, a great little town, cold, but good. Hey, Bill, you spoke about Judicial Watch in a not-so-favorable way a few weeks ago. I saw Tom Fenton, he's the president of it. Uh, I was impressed enough to start supporting the organization. Would you mind elaborating on your feeling? I, I told you then, Janet, what it was. Judicial Watch does good work in ferreting out information, Freedom of Information Act. In fact, I think it's the best for doing that. But whenever we ask them to appear, they dodge. They dodge us. <laughs> okay. So, you know, when that happens, I get skeptical. Mary Hamlet, Fresno, California, I appreciate your apology 
about your analysis of media covering the terrorists crossing the border. Too many people do not accept when they mis- make a mistake. I know, but, you know, I got to do it. Second time in 27 years. I still have nightmare. I had a nightmare about it last night. Scott Evans, Calabasas, California. Here in California, part of the driver's license process is to ask the applicant if he or she wants to register to vote. There is no requirement to prove citizenship. It's an honor system. Do you believe this could possibly lead to non-citizens voting in California? Absolutely. Absolutely. California is looking the other way. And some other states are too. You can, it's not hard to commit voting fraud. Now, some states are really cracked down. Remember, it is a felony. But if you don't investigate it, as many states don't, you go. Bill Holmes, Abilene, Texas, let's just say Trump gets elected. What is the possibility the Democrats will try to impeach him again? Well, if they control the House and Senate, they'll try to impeach him again. It's a game now. But uh, the Republicans could take Congress. And if Trump's elected, puts pressure on Trump to get things done. Guy Aluzzi, North Salem, New York, upstate. Bill enjoyed your analysis of the upcoming debate. Only thing you didn't mention is that Biden, Tapper, and Bash will attempt to label Trump a convicted felon at every opportunity. How does he counter that? All he has to say is, look, I believe that this was a total disgrace. I didn't do anything wrong. And I think the appeal will demonstrate that. That's it. That's all. What are they going to say? No, it won't demonstrate that? Come on. James Milner, Keswick, uh, Virginia. We need to talk more about fatherless homes. The statistics are there. Homes without fathers result in more poverty, crime, drugs, and guns. When I bring it up to the Richmond, Virginia newspaper, they ignore it. That's because of the racial component. On a proportional basis, more black men leave their children than other ethnic groups. So that's why the paper in Richmond won't report it. Only the truth. Okay, so we got the 4th of July coming up, and we have a special in the BillOReilly.com store for you. So if you buy the Not Woke mug, our best-selling mug ever, you get a stand-up for your country mug absolutely not free, 10 bucks. <laughs> okay? So this is the greatest deal. You get two mugs, very, very, uh, you want to give them a gift, you want to keep them, whatever it may be. And stand up for your country is a 4th of July uh, slogan. And uh, we have a whole bunch of not woke mugs with baseball caps, United States of Trump, all of that. And the most important thing, though, is confronting the presidents coming up fast, September 10th. Uh, Hannity's reading it. He likes it. That was a good endorsement today. And if you uh, pre-order it, You'll get it first. But if you become a premium member on BillOReilly.com, you get it free. Get the book free. Now, that is a terrific deal because this book's a little bit more expensive because it's longer than the killing books. It's a really good deal. And if you get a premium membership, you can give it as a gift. And then you get the book free. Hey, just looking out for you financially. Word of the day, do not be a nebbish. N-E-B-B-I-S-H. Nebbish. Okay, final thought in a moment. This July, as we celebrate the birth of our nation, it's important to reflect on the freedoms our forefathers fought for. Today, these freedoms are under attack, and you know that. Look at the treatment of President Trump and others. If the left can go after a president, all of us are in jeopardy. That's why we need to stick together and fight back. AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, is more than just a senior discount organization. AMAC is dedicated to protecting our conservative values and defending our rights. Learn more about how AMAC is actively fighting for our freedom by visiting amac.us slash O'Reilly. This July 4th, let's pledge to stand united. Join AMAC today and ensure that our voices are heard. That's amac.us slash O'Reilly. 
Together, we can make a difference. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Here is the final thought of the day. It is very dicey for parents to give their adult children advice particularly if they don't ask for it, okay? But you see things that may be hurting your children and you want to help if you're a good parent, right? So uh, I've got young adults, very young adults, and uh, the situation involving my son that's not right, I know it, but I want him to handle it. I don't want... You know, me going in, that's like Godzilla, <laughs> you know, and it, it's not good. Um, not Don Corleone here. <laughs> so I know what's going on. And I'm advising him on how to handle it, but it's a tough one. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Not fair. So I said to him last night, look, if you want me to, because this is a fairly serious situation. I'll handle it, but I want you to think about it. We have a few options left that you can do. And he said, okay, that sounds fair. Now, I will handle it if the options don't pan out, because it's wrong, and I'm not going to allow my children, I don't care how old they are, to be abused or taken advantage of. I will not. main job of a father is to protect his children. Okay? All right. So now I'm watching this thing very, very, very closely. But I don't want, because of who I am, him to be hurt by my intrusion. Like, oh, look at this. He runs to daddy, you know, all of that stuff. Man, it is a tight rope to walk that. You got to really give it a lot of thought. And when you're dealing with your children and they're adults, Lots of times they think they know it all. You, you know that. And they don't. You got to let them make their own mistakes unless it's really life altering. And this one, my son knows, okay, that this is wrong. And he, it may be beyond him and his capacity at this point in his life to right the wrong. Not beyond me. But I'm bringing you this as a final thought because I know there are just so many parents worried about their young adult children, even older children. Try not to intrude unless you have to. But if they ask your advice and they need your help, give it to them. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.